All right, I say now I'm gonna make this quick. I'm hoping to make this quick. My wife's gonna kill me. I told her I would only be out here for like eight minutes and I just gave everything compost tea. So that's eight minutes of just feeding. So hopefully I can run through this pretty quickly. Um, I know I haven't updated in a while, so things look a little bit different. I threw weed cloth down and it works amazingly except for one factor. Um, next time I'm gonna find a way to uh, maybe even put like water bottles in there, um, cut up. Uh, cut open on the top so I can water directly at the roots. So like when I feed with compost tea, it's a pain in the ass to get down there and try to get in that little hole just to give us, or give the uh, the roots a good root soak. Um, but fodder feeding works perfectly. So anyways, let me run through real quickly. Um, some stuff looks great. A couple plants look like shit, but uh, I mean, you win some, so you lose some. Uh, turn out scorpions, these three of them, uh, putting out pods. A lot of cool looking ones. I got some stuff turning to color, not on these specifically, but I have some, uh, some other ones are. So those look really good. Uh, nice, awesome pod shape on those bad boys. Uh, let's see. These are uh, yellow, or these are regular uh, red boots. Look really good on those. Uh, happy with those. This thing, I don't know. It's got some disease. I know it does, but it keeps on putting off growth. Whatever. This one got topped a while back. Disease, I don't know. Two boot jalokias got crazy disease. Um, these are another, another scorpion. It's got a bunch of pods. Those haven't really set the proper shape yet. Um, Maybe one or two have got a good shape on it, but the rest of them are still kind of figuring out, feeling things out. So a little bit later in the season, um, they'll probably get uh, the right shape. Uh, Maruga, I had one on here turning color, and then it got eaten by something, so uh, happens. Uh, let's see, we got another Maruga. Maruga, this is Maruga yellow. I don't think I have any pods on this one. Um, this one is another Maruga yellow. This has got a, some massive pods on this thing. Uh, let's see, here's one right here. That thing is big. So really nice looking pod. These three Psalms are freaking amazing. I mean, I, I really can't be more or be happier. Well, let's see if I can get on there and get a nice uh, ripe shot. Those need to be harvested. Those things look really awesome. Uh, a couple on that one. Let's see, these are got really tons of freaking pods all over this thing and they're huge. Uh, I'll get another ripe one on there so I can get in there and get a good shot of that one. Uh, I think it's huge. I mean, big. So, yeah, I'm probably going to run through and do some, some uh, harvesting maybe tomorrow. Uh, these are uh, yellow boot. Uh, decent pod shape. Nothing color yet. A uh, couple others hanging there. Oh, got a yellow boot right here. Uh, more orangish. Uh, it's just really, really big. Nice, good boot flavor, or shape on that one. These are seven pots right here. One, two, and three. I saw some color earlier, right there, yeah, nice, awesome pod shape on there, starting to put some color on. Um, this one doesn't have any pods on it yet. Oh, yeah, it does, a little one. Um, and this one, no color, but there's a couple pods sitting in there. Uh, Maruga, yellow, not putting anything out yet. This uh, Nagamorich, got little pods hanging off of it. Nothing crazy though, nothing popping. Same thing with this Nagamorich, this uh, E7 yellow. Oh, looks like I got a ripe one right here, almost perfectly. That's awesome looking right there. Really nice shape on that bad boy. Um, and then almost, almost ripe. So this one should be ready another day or two. Oh, what do we got here? Another seven yellow, another huge pods on this. You can see those, let me get in there. Those things are very large. Great looking um, golf ball size pods. So really good looking plant. Um, oh, still in the market for a new camera, so hopefully uh, give me a video camera pretty soon so I don't have to worry about all this zooming and focusing and stuff. Douglas, tons of pods hanging on the bottom there. Nice upskirt right there. Oh, and I got one turning color on one of these plants. Oh, I think it's this one right here. Yeah, look at those. Oh, wow, those look really good. Those things are going to be gnarly, really nasty. Tiny little Nagamorich, probably a dozen pods or half a dozen pods hanging off that one. Uh, this is a Fatali. I uh, got one almost perfectly ripe there. Just a little bit of green in the tail. Uh, a couple hanging off of this Fatali. Um, this one yelling it up a little bit, but that's why I just fed it with compost tea. Everything should be good. A uh, bunch of little pods on this one. Uh, oh, Jamaican hot chocolate. This one's got one starting to brown up right there. Really happy for that one. Another Jamaican hot chocolate, nothing on this one. I think this is another Jamaican hot chocolate. Nothing on that one. Uh, Bonda, that one's got a nice ripe one. Probably needs to get pulled tomorrow. This Bonda's stunted. Um, 
yellow, it'll get pulled, or it'll get, uh, hopefully, uh, get a nice little jump start from the compost tee, so. Nice, uh, Cobra. I don't think I got anything colored on that one yet. Uh, oh, one dropped. I probably got hit by a bug. I'll toss that over there. Uh, let's see, what is this one? This one is a Congo Trinidad. Uh, a couple pods hanging off, nothing with color yet. These are Congo Trinidad yellow. Oh, look at a little bit of yellow showing on that one. So hopefully that one starts or is up in a few days. The lemon drop. I know I have some yellow pods in here, some ripe ones. Uh, that one's about ripe there. That one's ripe there. So giant Marconi hybrids. Some of these are starting to show color if I come around. Oh, Ahi Colorado. Those are definitely got something to pull on that one. Plant looks like hell, but paws are coming. Yeah, this Marconi, you can see there's a nice little red stripe on there, so that should be coming in another couple days. Another, a couple more on this Ahi Colorado. Um, Safi Red. Uh, a couple pods hanging on this bad boy, but nothing nothing large yet, nothing colored full yet. Uh, that's a weed. Pull that thing. Um, this one's another Safi Red. Uh, the one down there looks a little bit better and a little bit farther along. West Indian, nothing uh, color yet. West Indian, jalapenos, man, are loaded down. I'm waiting for these things to turn red, and I'm going to pull them all and then make a chipotle powder. Smoke them all um, and get them nice and uh, ready for the chipotle. Oh, there's a in, uh, nice uh, Ichiban eggplant. That thing's ready to get pulled. Oh, and these, oh, a little bit of red in the shoulders for this one. I gotta send some seeds out to a buddy, so that one, if it's got a good, if it's got the right pod shape and that thing comes through, I'll go ahead and uh, send some seeds out then. Um, these are the uh, the late starts. These are doing pretty decently, I'd say. Uh, they, could, they could have used a little bit more before they got stuck right in the ground, but whatever. Uh, just These were just like a test. Dougla, Cross Trinidad, Scorpion S1, both of these, they look pretty good. Uh, got, you know, new growth is looking better. Uh, Billy Boy Jonah there, this is a, an Infinity. That was the largest of them. Billy Boy Dougal Red, Butch Team Mississippi, uh, Seven Pot Chickawagas, that looks good. Uh, this is a Seven Pot Savannah. This is a Brain Strain Tail, that one that was a Brain Strain from last year, spitting off tails. Um, and this is a Reaper. Um, and these are the late starts that made it into the uh, pot. And I don't even know. I think I'm just going to go back to Pro Mix next year. Um, you know, I, I keep screwing with things and everything, every single time. I'm like, oh, I found the newest, baddest thing. And you can mark my words, but in next season, I'm going to do the same exact thing and try to find something new. But ProMix has never really let me down. I've always just looked to advance things. But, I mean, things are growing. They look good. I mean, it looks decently, but, you know, it's, it's not as happy as I wish they would be um, at this point. A lot of curling, a lot of nutrient issues. Um, maybe, the, maybe the sunshine's a little hot. Um, but the good news is nothing has died. Everything is still growing. I mean, these are six and a half inches tall now. I mean, they got more, much more leaves. Um, I just think that, uh, I'll probably just go with a nice uh, pro mix mix next year and, uh, call the day. I mean, I haven't really had too many issues with it in the past and, uh, uh it's probably a little bit less expensive if I just go buy bulk. So anyways, uh, not disappointed. I'm just, uh, um, may, may change things back up to, the, to, to, to uh, a little bit more of what I've been used to uh, next season, next go around. But uh, they still got a little bit more time, and then I still have that Super Soul cooking over here, and it's about ready to be used. But I want to give these a little bit more of a fighting chance before I pot them up into anything else. So uh, I'll probably go another two or three weeks, and if they take off, then I'll pot them up and put them into that Super Soul and let you guys know how that goes for me. But <clears throat> overall, it's pretty amazing. Everything got put into the ground in... Uh, the, the last few days of May. So if you look at things now, um, this is, I, I, you know, there's probably 30, 25 or 30 pods that are ripe and 85% of my plants have, have peppers hanging off of it. So, I mean, for June or June and July, 60 days of, you know, growth in the ground with cross country nurseries, which, you know, they put out so many plants that you really don't get very, very mature. It's at least not as, as mature as if I would do it myself or any of you growers would do it yourself before they go out for plant out. So, I mean, 60 days of growth is pretty ridiculous and I'm getting ripe pods. So, um, couldn't be happier. This is uh, an amazing feeling getting this season from you guys and uh, I really appreciate you guys taking the time out to watch. Questions or comments?